guys in this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, SFML project using MinGW and VS Code. So let's start. To start, go to the SFML website, to the download section, and download the MinGW GCC 7.3. O MinGW. The, you can choose the, if you want to make 32 bit games, choose the 32 bit one, and if you want to make 64 bit, you gonna choose 64 bit. So after you download, extract the, the, the zip file and create a new folder called SFML project. So inside the SFML project, we're gonna need a new folder where we're gonna store the include and delete folder it's called source so go create the source folder and let's go copy the include and lib folder so we're gonna cl click and control c and let's go again and past the the include and lib folder inside the source folder as you can see, we have everything here. Now, let's let's go and create a new folder called called coding. Inside this inside this folder, we're going to have the cpp file. Yes, we're going to have the cpp file. And we're going to need to go to bin and do. We're going to just to copy the DLL the files and pass them inside the folder. We're gonna shrink this and we're gonna open this folder inside VS Code. So we're just gonna drag it inside VS Code. And we're just gonna create a new folder in called make file inside the SFM project we're gonna create this folder called make file inside the folder you're gonna pass a code which you're gonna find in the description so this is the code where you need to compile all the SFML DLL So let's pass this and now let's create a CPP file inside the coding folder. We're gonna open this folder. We're gonna find this inside the tutorial of the SFML website or in the description. Inside the description uh, you're gonna just it's the same as the one inside the tutorial inside the SFMO website. You're just gonna copy the code and create a new main.cpp file and paste it. Now let's just wait. Now you can see we don't have any errors. We just need to open a term open a terminal. If you use VS Code, just create a new terminal and change it to command prompt so cmd or command prompt we're gonna write mingw32 slash make and f then make file the name of the of the make file after compiling you're gonna find that we have two new files the main.o and the main.exe now we're gonna need to run the main.exe, we're just gonna write the same thing. It's the executor. So if you, as you can see we have a window running now. This window is where we're gonna have our game. You can code the game here. You're just gonna need to change something in the main.cpp, follow some tutorials, maybe in future I'm gonna make a tutorial about SFML. So. So goodbye to another video.